When I first unboxed the LG G3 retail unit I bought myself to review, it suffered from noticeable auto-dimming in prolonged, dark HDR scenes, similar to previous LG and Samsung OLED TVs out of the box. But thanks to you guys, LG has expedited a new firmware update to fix this type of APL-based auto-dimming, so you no longer need to make adjustments in the service menu which may avoid your warranty. Let me explain. You see, a few days ago, I published a video showing that LG Electronics has overhauled the service menu interface on the company's 2023 OLED TVs, such that most owners can no longer disable TPC and GSR in the service menu to prevent unwanted auto-dimming from kicking in unnecessarily. Many of you reacted very strongly to this piece of breaking news, and partly in response to the overwhelming uproar from you guys, LG Electronics has fast-tracked the release of a firmware update for the C3 and G3 to fix the excessive APL-based auto-dimming at source. Here, on your left is a 42-inch LG C3 with the launch firmware of 3.1.15. I was in such a rush to make this video that I didn't even have time to peel off the protective film. And on your right is a 65-inch LG G3, updated to the latest firmware version of 3.10.19 at the time I filmed this video in March 2023. If we play this low-light scene from the 4K Blu-ray of Dune Part 1 on both TVs, you can see the C3 with launch firmware slowly dimming down over time, eventually becoming so dark that it's almost impossible to make out what's happening on screen, whereas the G3 with the updated firmware maintained its luminance throughout the entire sequence without exhibiting any dimming even after 7 minutes. Next, let's play this HDR demo loop from the Meridio 7G 8K signal generator, and as you can see for yourself, because the APL or average picture level was largely constant, the picture on the LG C3 with launch firmware would gradually become darker and darker, while the image on the LG G3 with updated firmware would remain as bright as when the playback first started 10 minutes earlier. Now, some of you will ask, Vincent, could the difference be caused by the fact that we are comparing an LG G3 featuring MLA OLED panel and heatsink versus a C3 without both technologies, instead of the firmware version? Well, when I first unboxed the LG G3, it had the same launch firmware of 3.1.15, and I definitely saw TPC auto-dimming when using the Meridio 7G 8K signal generator to check the TV's edit and measure 4K 120Hz input lag, but at that time, it didn't cross my mind to film the auto-dimming before LG pushed the 3.10.19 firmware update onto my G3 retail unit. However, to confirm that the auto-dimming fix was indeed brought about by the new firmware version, I filmed the LG C3 on the launch firmware of 3.1.15, updated the firmware to 3.10.19, then filmed it using the same camera exposure, and hopefully you will agree with me that the new firmware of 3.10.19 is responsible for fixing the APL-based auto-dimming. Of course, paused static images would still dim down over time to reduce the risk of OLED burn-in, but moving video content, even extremely dark ones in HDR whose APL doesn't change much, such as this sequence from Dune Part 1, will no longer trigger the improved auto-dimming algorithm on the C3 or G3 OLED, as long as you install firmware 3.10.19 which LG is pushing over the air as a priority. This means that you won't need to access the service menu to disable undesirable auto-dimming anymore. Not that the settings are there in the service menu of 2023 LG OLEDs anyway. Talking of which, Certain quarters have criticized me for publishing my earlier video showing the removal of TPC and GSR settings from the service menu of LG's 2023 OLED TVs, claiming that I shouldn't have done so based on a first look at a pre-production prototype. So let's clear things up. 1. The LG C3 sample I measured at LG's convention in Frankfurt was a final production model that's due to be shipped out to German reviewers. Otherwise, why would I bother making a video of a service menu revamp that was not finalized? 2. The Frankfurt event took place in February, yet I specifically waited a few weeks later until the middle of March before publishing the video. 
That's because I was waiting for further confirmation of the service menu overhaul before clicking the publish button. This is similar to when I broke the news on MediaTek's Pentonic 1000 chipset only carrying two HDMI 2.1 ports capable of 48 gigabits per second FRL signaling. I waited and waited until I received confirmation from other sources before running the story. Yet, there were still some detractors who doubted my scoop despite my industry contacts and the resources I possess at my disposal. And finally, I believe it is important for me to make the earlier video to show LG Electronics how many people care about its fundamentally broken TPC auto-dimming algorithm which logically shouldn't activate in dark, moving HDR scenes to persuade the company to fix it once and for all. Now, even if a method to disable TPC and GSR in the service menu of new LG OLEDs is eventually discovered or leaked by those with Hollywood contacts, maybe I even already know it but pretend that I don't. There is no need to enter the service menu to disable TPC anymore. Therefore, you won't have to risk voiding your warranty if an LG technician bothers checking the service log. Because LG has fixed the problem at source with firmware update 3.10.19, owing partly to my efforts, and also to your strong reaction. Mission accomplished. Jobs are good and everyone. So many thanks to LG engineers for listening and acting so swiftly. I sincerely hope that LG can also consider fixing the auto-dimming algorithm on its pre-2023 OLED TVs including the C1 and C2, so that in prolonged dark HDR sequences, they perform similarly to recent Panasonic and Sony OLEDs which don't dim down in such scenes without needing to enter the service menu. This video is sponsored by Box, the online technology store. Visit box.co.uk for the best deals on TVs, soundbars and all your other technology needs. Ok, back to the LG G3 OLED. It will take me at least a few weeks to run the TV in before publishing a full review of its MLA OLED panel including testing for GSR auto-dimming. But in the meantime, here is a first look video of its world's first working quick media switching or QMS HDMI 2.1 support, which you can watch by clicking here.